In the following devotional, you will discover the type of material with which you are edifying your life. Believe me that listening to this devotional will be beneficial to you because it will allow you to determine if you're doing things according to God's command, to God's design, or in your own way. Paul said that each one of us builds our lives using gold, silver, and precious stones, or wood, hay, and straw. What type of life are you edifying? Listen to this devotional and allow God to speak to your heart, because we cannot do it alone, nor should we. Welcome to our devotional, Mana, where we listen to and obey the Lord's word. Yesterday, I mentioned that Paul gives us two types of materials with which we can edify our lives, and he gives two options. He says that each one of us over the foundation can build with gold, silver, and precious stones, or we can build with wood, hay, and straw. As he states in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 12. Okay, I'm going to present an analogy so that you may understand why this topic that we are presenting today is so important. Paul says in verse 12 of 1 Corinthians 3, or look at what it says in verse 13. Paul says, Their work will be shown for what it is, because the day will bring it to light. It will be revealed with fire, and the fire will test the quality of each person's work. And so there will be a day where it will be known what each person has built, and that day will take place in the tribune of Christ. And so do you see why this lesson we are studying is so important? My dear family, perhaps at the beginning we are not aware and we do things not knowing what we are doing, but only at the end of our journey is when we realize if we did or if we did not do things the way we should have if our life was worthwhile or not. But let's not wait till the end of our journey to find out whether or not we did things correctly. No, instead, from beginning today, let's identify biblically where you are so that now, while you still have time, you're able to straighten your ways, to make corrections, to improve your ways. And so do not wait until the end. Check today. Test yourself today because the Bible says that the tribune of Christ will be like a great door of fire. And look, I look at it this way. And of course, what I'm going to say is a personal position. I'm not saying that this is what's going to happen in heaven, but I always have a mental image when I explain 1 Corinthians chapter 3, beginning verse 11 through verse 15. I believe that the tribune of Christ will be as follows because each one of us builds, edifies over our lives. Each one of us edifies our lives with silver, gold, or precious stones, or wood, hay, and straw. We are edifying our own lives with these materials, and so the day that we reach God's presence, something very simple is going to happen. There will be a great door of fire, and each person will have to go through this door of fire. And since God knows how we are, I can imagine when we reach heaven, there'll be a bunch of us saying, well, Lord, allow me to explain. Let me clarify before anything else. For example, look, I, I did not go to church, not because I did not want to, or because I did not like it, but because I was so very busy and I had so many other things to do. I'm sure you understand God. And I can imagine God listening to everyone's story. Some will say, well, Lord, look, I was not a fanatic of religions, but I knew that there was one single God. And today, as I'm here, I want to tell you that I did believe in you, but I did not believe in religions or pastors. But I am here and I want to tell you my reasoning, but no. God wants everyone to keep their excuses, their stories to themselves. Because God already told us, look, this is how it's going to be. Very simple. Because God is wise. And especially righteous. He has already established this. He says so that no one has excuses when they arrive to heaven. When Christians arrive to this door in heaven, this door of fire, they're going to be told, go ahead, go through. So let's go back and look at what Paul said. He said, each person has edified their lives as they chose to. Some edify with wood, hay, and straw. Now tell me what's going to happen when a person who built with these materials go through this door of fire. Now, in turn, tell me what will happen when a person goes through, goes through this door who built their 
life using silver, gold, and precious stones. What happens to one set of materials and what happens to the other? And so I can imagine God, people saying, God, turn off the fire on the door and allow me to explain or go and speak to the pastor such and such and he'll vouch for me and he'll say that I did attend meetings, church, and participate in Bible study from time to time. And so I can imagine more than one person asking the Lord to shut off the fire at the door as they explain, but the Lord says, no, let's do something. First go through the door and then you can explain. Can you imagine each one of us going through this door of fire? And Paul is saying this here, I'm not making it up. Paul is saying in verse 13 of 1 Corinthians chapter 3, Their work will be shown for what it is, because the day will bring it to light. It will be revealed with fire, and the fire will test the quality of each person's work. Tremendous. This is marvelous. This is why God knows what is going to happen, because He is wise and righteous. And when you arrive to heaven, you will not have to give any explanations. You will not even have to speak. You're simply going to be told to pass through. But think about this. If your life has been built with wood, hay, and straw, and you go through this door, what explanation can you give? What excuse will you have? What's done has been done. Because your life, without speaking a single word, already said and revealed who you were, truly. And so do you see why I say that this topic and what we spoke about yesterday is so important. What materials are you using to build your life? Because truly, this will speak a great deal about you the day that you reach God's presence, especially the tribune of Christ. This is why I am speaking specifically to the Christians in these devotionals. Because here there will not be any pagans or people who did not receive Christ. No, this event is only exclusively for Christians and so pay close attention and this morning I think we should categorize who are those building with silver gold and precious stones I created a list and I know there that there are many things that I was not able to include because I'm of course I'm limited I do not know everything but I did create a small list and I know that those building this way are building with silver gold and precious stones now, if I have enough time, I will also speak about those who are building with wood, hay, and straw. And if, do, if I do not have enough time today, we'll talk about it next week because tomorrow is our Friday of prayer in Mana. So we'll talk about it on Monday. But I think it is very important for all of those Christians listening to pay close attention. And hopefully you're not listening to this devotional as you're commuting or in the car or doing something else. Hopefully you're taking notes. Because truly, it is to my best interest to know that I am doing things correctly so that when I reach the end of my journey, I am not caught by surprise. Okay, who are those building with silver, gold, and precious stones? If you are in this group who wakes up early, very early, where no one sees you, where only God sees you, when you sacrifice hours of sleep to be in God's presence and to have communion with Him, then you are building with gold, silver, and precious stones. And allow me to tell you that when you reach God's presence, God will tell you, good. He'll say to you, good and faithful servant, because you, ha you have been doing what most have not. If when you reach home after a long day's work, when you're tired, instead of eating dinner, relaxing, and watching TV, instead you go to do ministry, to evangelize, to tend perhaps a young person who needs spiritual help to edify them, or perhaps a marriage that you're helping restore. Then you are building with silver, gold, and precious stones. And the day you arrive to God's presence, the Lord is going to say to you, well done, good and faithful servant. Because instead of seeking your comfort and your personal interests, you tended to the work of the ministry. If you carry out the work of a pastor, but no one calls you pastor because that's not your title, but you go from place to place, sometimes by foot, sometimes with minimum bare resources, sometimes not having even enough to eat. And if you are of those who, instead of asking for anything, gives when you go and visit those in need, or if you perform some type of work where you are not paid because those you are working for do not have enough to pay you with. Allow me to tell you, you are building with silver, gold, and precious stones. 
And when you reach heaven, the Lord will say to you, Well done, my good and faithful servant, because you did not hold back your resources, your strength, and you did not ask for any acknowledgement whatsoever for yourself. And what you did, you did for people to know me and to know my word. If you, instead of spending your money legitimately because it is your money, because you earned it, and instead of spending this money, perhaps on vacations, on a nicer car, or personal luxuries, but instead you spend much of your resources in building new churches, or you invested your money to help purchase the land for a new church, or you spent your money for new pastors to be able to begin new ministries, and you invested in resources, tools, then you are building with silver, gold, and precious stones. And when you arrive in heaven, the Lord will say to you, Well done, good and faithful servant. Because what I gave you, instead of using it for yourself, you used it for the extension of the kingdom, so that my name would be known and God's work would extend on earth. If perhaps you left behind your profession, your title, your family, your city, your personal comforts, and you left any of these things to go and serve God, accepting the calling to serve the Lord, paying the price to be a servant of God, then allow me to tell you that you are building with silver, gold, and precious stones. And when you arrive to heaven, you will hear the Lord's voice say, Well done, good and faithful servant, because you embraced a calling, and instead of thinking about your own life, you were focused on the interests of the kingdom of our good God, and you gave your life, your time, your gifts, your talents, your family, your profession, and you placed it to the service of the work. If you belong to the group that abandoned sin, a life of excesses, fame, power, and you decided that with your life you were going to serve Jesus in a way that's clean, humble, sensitive because life does not consist in having, achieving, reaching, and you understood that more than anything else in the world, what's most important or who's most important is Christ and not selfishness or sin. Then you are building with silver, gold, and precious stones. And when you arrive to heaven, your father will say, well done, good and faithful servant, because you have understood what Christ died for so that we would not be slaves to sin so that we would not have to live in sin and instead live a life that pleases God. If you, instead of going with the currents, the trends of this world, you chose to follow Jesus despite mockery, persecution, others laughing at you, laughing at your faith, and you have chosen to embrace the Lord and your faith over anything else, then you are building with silver, gold, and precious stones. And when you arrive in heaven, you will be told, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with little. Now I will place you over much. My dear child of God, listening to this devotional, and those who have been listening to this devotional for years, do you know why I live? What is the purpose of my life? I, Pastor Carlos Rios, whom you listen to each day in this devotional, I live for only one thing, so that the day when I reach the presence of my God, I will listen to the words, well done, good and faithful servant. But the price for this is not easy because here there are many interests. There are many things that compete, that compete with this lifestyle. And I would like for you to think about this today. What are you building your life with? And what is the foundation? The next devotional, we will talk about those who are building with wood, hay, and straw. So be very attentive. Pray with me. Father, thank you for this morning. We truly must understand that we have to live with one single objective, and it is that when we reach the presence of our good God, what we will hear is well done, good and faithful servant. I believe that it is worthwhile to live each day, no matter what, for the purpose of of reaching this goal, this great objective. Thank you for each listener of Mana. Thank you for giving us the strength, the faith to continue moving forward and not looking back. Always guided and directed by your Holy Spirit. 
We commend this day to you. Thank you for going in front of us, for caring for us, guarding us, and sustaining us in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. And I'll await for you tomorrow in our Friday of prayer in Mana. Blessings to all.